Hey, we're back with another SciUp video, this time focusing on the last feature of lesson preparation, feature six, planning meaningful activities that integrate lesson concepts with language practice opportunities. The goal of this objective is to be intentional about planning for your language objectives by integrating the four domains of language development into your everyday teaching. Language objectives focus on the four domains of listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Now, we're not trying to say that every lesson needs to include all four domains of language development, but the more inclusive your lesson is to the different domains, the more effectively your students are to absorb your content. Let's take a look and see where the language domains can fit within a math lesson. The lesson we are going to look at is a math lesson using math expressions. You may remember from our original math expressions training to focus on do the blue. The blue generally includes the main teaching of the lesson, along with the quick practice and anytime problems. Those pages in the teaching manual have a blue bar across the top. The practice we're looking at today is outside of the blue section, and a great addition to the lesson if your students need a bit more practice before moving on to the next lesson, or even need to spiral the skill after moving on. In your teacher manual, these pages will always be topped with an orange bar and are considered differentiation supports. While this section includes many different tools, today we're focusing on the activity cards. These cards were supplied with your math expressions materials, so you have a hard copy of the cards. However, they can also be found within Think Central if you need a digital copy. Let's go ahead and jump into Think Central and navigate to the Math Activity Center, where you can find the math activity cards. Here I am on Think Central. I access Think Central through Clever. The first place I need to go is to my Math Activity Center. I'm going to look for the red icon because the red option is for teachers. Next, I choose Activity Cards. From here, I can see that I have my Intervention Cards my challenge cards, and my on-level cards for Unit 3, Lesson 1. You can easily differentiate between these cards based off the shape in the top right corner. The challenge cards have a square, the intervention cards have a circle, and the on-level cards have a triangle. The reason I'm choosing to grab the activity cards off Think Central is so that I can bring them into Seesaw. Now I'm bringing them into Seesaw because I really want to utilize the multimodal tools to support the language domains, and I wanted all my students to access the cards at similar times. Let's go ahead and see where our language domains fit within a lesson using the activity cards. We are using Seesaw to provide written directions that students can read or listen to. It's also helpful as it allows students to listen to the directions as many times as they need, without having the teacher need to repeat themselves. Many of the cards allow for student collaboration, which can be both a listening and a speaking activity. When students are being asked to do collaborative work with peers, consider providing speaking support. Here on this math activity card, I provided sentences that my students can use when interacting with their peers. When students are finished, they come back to the activity cards and complete a writing prompt to help the students solidify the learning they completed on the first side of the card. Using Seesaw can allow for differentiated supports with writing. By looking at my can-do descriptors, I know that my students will find better success when given sentence stems. Students may also feel more confident in their answer if they can justify their writing with speaking. So this is a great opportunity to use the microphone or the voice options. With Seesaw, I can easily provide that support to students. That was just one example of a lesson that is intentionally planned with the language domains in mind. When planning, are you consciously looking for ways for all of your students to engage with the topic through listening, speaking, reading, and writing? If not, Give the math activity cards a try and see if you can adapt the practice to meet the needs of all of your learners.